Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, whatever time that you're watching this. This is Andre Blasting Yang coming to you today to tell you a little bit about being a bold witness. Now, the scripture I'm going to take this from is going to be Hebrews 4.16. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. See, your voice is what is key to being a bold witness. See, you have already seen the wonderful things of the Lord's wonderful works. You have already been a witness to what he has done for you in your life. And see, now with you being a bold witness, you got to take the opportunity to speak up and tell others. You become a bold witness by stepping out on faith and letting others know, especially in the face of adversity or any time that you are a bold witness for our Lord and Savior. Another scripture that I have is a Philippians 1 and 14. And most of the brethren in the Lord having become confident, confident, boldness by my chains are much more bold to speak the word without fear. See, when you become confident from being bound in those chains and that test and you have that testimony, see, it takes you to another level. See, it gives you the opportunity to be bold, to be unafraid, to not have any issue with telling people about your Lord and Savior, right? So you must understand that your confidence breaking through those chains is really what has set you apart and continue being a bold witness. Let me continue. Isaiah 43 and 10. You are my witness, saith the Lord, and my servant who I have chosen. Mm, you're chosen. That ye may now know and believe in me and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. Acts 22, 15, for thou shalt be the witness unto all men who have thou hast seen and heard. See, you have seen and heard. You have been a witness. You know, they talk about the definition of a witness in, 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 in someone that saw something that gives a account or a recount of what happened. And see, you've seen the joys in your life. You've seen the blessings in your life. You've seen the grace that is abounded to you. You've seen the forgiveness that has been given to you by our Lord. And who are you to keep that to yourself? See, other people need to know that that word is true. See, other people need to know that that word is in you. It's engrafted in you. It's engulfed on the heart. It is mirrored with your heart and your love. And so you get to mimic that and show that to the entire world. So be bold. Be bold as a witness. Don't be afraid to speak your truth. Don't be afraid to speak the truth of our Lord. Because see, Charles Stanley said it like this, and I'm going to read it. His voice leads us not into timid discipline ship, but into bold witness. Take heed to these words and be bold, be strong, be determined, be unafraid. Christ had the courage, took 12 men. One betrayed him, 11 betrayed him at the cross. But he was bold enough to walk through that crowd bearing his cross. He was bold enough to go up there for you on Calvary. He was bold enough to make that sacrifice. He was bold enough to spend three days in the deep. To come up so that you can ask for forgiveness. And if we're to be Christ-like, if we're following his methods and teachings, us too should be bold. Be blessed, be outstanding, and change your life today.